Hey everyone, so from time to time people ask me what my setup looks like and really like how I get uh, the prices um, connected to the display on screen. So here I'm going to kind of just show you my sad little mess here. So this is kind of my workstation. It is not even a desk. It's actually just a set of shelves. Uh, I've got my laptop hooked up. I've got a camcorder on that thing that just points straight down. And uh, it is connected uh, by HDMI to an HDMI capture card, which then runs it into the computer. Uh, I've got a um, Snowball microphone here. I've got some, some light lamps that really could use a little bit better uh, of a setup. I've got like literally cardboard and some white like um, linen on it to diffuse the light. It doesn't work that great. I end up with like a bunch of uh, glare on my cards. Here's the uh, mount that I use to hold my camera in place. It is uh, just spreads out. When I say camera, I mean my phone, right? So, uh, so there's that. I'll give you a look around the room, and then we'll try to get a little tutorial about how I set up my my recording setup. So, just got some general bulk laying around here. This is all like bulk commons and uncommons. These are some of my Good stuff that I have not actually gotten around to doing anything with. Here's a giant pile of kind of the leftovers when I buy collections. There's a ton of fat pack boxes, old like Tempest boxes, deck boxes, dual decks, just stuff. Here's some some backpacks and bags. Um, oh yeah, that's for my other channel that I barely ever do anything on. I do have a full size arcade in here, which sadly never gets turned on. Maybe someday. Just racks and racks of Magic the Gathering cards, for the most part. Um, Semi-organized um, boxes and boxes of uh, some of its uh, bulk rares. I got bulk mythics and foils and stuff like that. Um, I do kind of save. I've got all um, full art lands. I am starting to save uh, old border, um, old school lands. Uh, I think people might be into those got rows of that kind of stuff um, this is uh, gonna be commons that I throw on eBay I got tokens and stuff like that so uh, this is it here's my my setup which is pretty messy there it is so that's the grim truth the tragic truth of tragic setup here um, yep there you go so let's move on I also keep handy here a loop and a bright flashlight, the little Larry, which is very good for doing the light test on cards, and uh, a black light also good for checking out cards, and a knife for opening some boxes, so you got that going for you. And I'd probably never hear the end of it if I didn't at least check in with Packbot 3000, who's hanging out over here. So PackBot is an Ultra Pro 3000 three slot card dispensing box, um, which I have lovingly constructed with some tin foil and some printed out teeth and eyes. And his eyes are actually interchangeable. So I can give him different expressions. So if you're a fan of PackBot, you now know the truth. He's one of a kind. So, anyway, moving on. Okay, so the next piece of the puzzle is an app called Visor, which is available for PC, probably for Mac as well, I'm not sure. You download this, then you connect it to, you connect your phone via USB to your computer. This one does have a free version, uh, which I found to be too low resolution, so I ended up paying for the pro version. You get high quality mirroring. That's all I ended up paying for. I think I paid the $40 lifetime because I use it every month. I've gone on a couple years with it now, so it's kind of halfway paid for itself. So it's worth it for me. Um, so that's again, it's Visor, V-Y-S-O-R. So now with Visor downloaded and installed and running, uh, you can set up all the settings, get it connected to your phone. And once you hit view, it should pull up a full screen version of your phone. Right now I have it set up for a TCG player, which is what I use to cast. So this is literally my phone right here. 
Um, and I have it in this position right here so that later I can actually take slices of it with OBS and input them into the display as captures. So uh, as you can see, it is just my phone. I'm actually moving that up and down with my finger right now. And uh, that's how it goes. So like, I can close out. You can see here's all the home screen of my phone. There it is. Just casts your phone. That's all there is to it. So. Um, that's visor. I'm not going to go into all the settings and stuff, but it does work well. There may be other options uh, for casting your phone to a PC. This is one that I found that works for me. So now that I've got visor up and running, I now have OBS open, which is a recording software. Um, I have my camcorder connected to that um, on scene one. And just straight down onto my play mat. Um, on scene two, I have uh, the slices of the visor screencast cut up and put there. So we'll try to uh, show off how I would go about doing that. Um, here on the desktop, I've got uh, OBS open pretty small. It's a little hard to work with when it's windowed like this. Um, but I'm just showing you that I have it all on my desktop. So uh, in a scene like this, you would create a new display capture. Let's just call it display capture four and it's going to capture this display. Now, now that I've got display capture four is essentially a separate um, version of this display I can take these red outlines here. And I believe I have to press alt while I do it and I narrow it down and make a box around the spot that I want to display. It goes like this. So if I then hide the desktop, you would see you're left with that slice there. So you can grab this and move it around wherever you need it to and make it bigger, things like that. So you would just grab a piece of the desktop basically and treat it now like a graphic and you put it wherever you want. And you would then add that to uh, another source, uh, which would be my play mat, which is my camcorder. So I want to do, so we're going to add a video capture device, which is, I think I have an existing one video capture device two, is my play mat, right? So now I want uh, the display capture four that I just took a slice of the visor and just bring it to the top. So there it is. So now I can actually add more display captures um, create a new one, number five, and how do you do, oh yeah, okay, here it is, alt, and then make the box the size you want it around the piece that you want it, there, that's it. And then once you let go of alt, then you can just move it around. So there's a, a full screen of my, of my phone captures. So, well, that's my process for displaying card prices in a nutshell. Um, so if you're interested, give it a try and you could be scanning Sapperling tokens in no time and um, show off your collection. So just fun. I get asked this question a lot, so I figured I'd try to answer it in a video. Um, let me know what you think down below. You got any more questions? I'll try to answer it. If I need to do another video, I will. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate all my viewers. And Tragic MTG saying, see you later.